the question is a person bought stamps of 48 paise let's say he bought x stamps 2 rupees he bought let's say y stamp and 3 rupees he bought z stamps number of stamps total he got is 500 and total amount he spent rate into quantity 2y and 3z total amount is 500 again the same problem three variables and two equations as such we cannot solve it now what is the logical part 2 into anything 2 rupees 4 rupees 6 rupees this is always going to be in rupees 3 into anything is always going to be integer this is also in rupees now the problem is if this comes out some rupees and some paise we will have paise here so the thing is we need this to be there which is going to be completely in rupees like if this is 10 stamps we'll get 4 rupees 80 paise this will come in paise so what all we need the thing is if let's say we have got 2.4 we want to remove one decimal simply what do we do is multiply it by 10 one decimal is removed so we need to remove two decimals is simply if we need to remove one decimal we need to multiply by 10 but 10 itself is what 2 into 5 what all we know is 10 is 2 into 5 so now 0.48 if we need to remove one decimal 2 is already there so we multiply by 5 one decimal shifted again 2.4 one decimal is shifted what we need is 12 so now what all i said is had it been 0.37 this is odd number so 2 is not there we needed 10 again one more decimal we needed 10 but because this is even number to remove one decimal we need to remove one decimal 10 but 2 is already there so 5 one more decimal 2 is already there 5 so what we need to multiply this by is 25 this has to be multiple of 25 then only we will get rupees what we got is 0.48x plus 2y plus 3z total amount 500 first trial error and what we know is x has to be multiple of 25 otherwise this will not get in rupees it can be 20 50 75 up to 500 first trial and error let's say we take 100 stamps of 0.48 just assumption trial and error if we take 100 stamps of 0.48 48 rupees remaining are 400 stamps and if i take all 400 even of 2 rupees that will give 800 and if some are more of 3 answer will be more than 800 it's not going to work out let's say we try 0.48 it's 200 stamps of that means if it works out we'll check out then 96 If 200 we take remaining 300, even if we take all the 300 remaining of 2 rupees, what all we get minimum is 600. 600 plus 96, again is going to cross. So even it has to be more than 200. Let's say we try it. 300 stamps for that. 0.48 into 300 is going to come out 144. So remaining 2 by 3 z. total stamps remaining is 200 now even if we take all remaining 200 stamps of 2 rupees then also amount becomes 400 400 plus 144 is going to cross so now it has to be more than 300 0.48x 2y 2 rupees wala y stamps and 3 rupees wala z stamps total now if we take all 400 of this we get this remaining if 400 are already gone total 500 stamps are there so remaining 100 stamps if we take all two wala 200 all three wala 300 then also is going to be less than 500 if we take 400 stamps of 48 paise we get this amount now if remaining 100 stamps even if we take all three wala then also it's going to be less so means number of 0.48 rupees stamps is more than 300 and less than 400 it has to be more than 300 and less than 400 in between that now 
three multiples of 25 are there it has to be multiple of 25 three possibilities are there let's say we try 350 stamps of 0.48 we try 350 stamps of 0.48 if we take 350 stamps of 0.48 2 rupees wala y, 3 rupees wala z, total 500 rupees. We want 0.48x to y, 3z. Let's say we take 350 stamps. So if we take 350, calculations we already know, 300 into 0.48 is going to be 144, already we tried. So 50 into 0.48, we get 24. So this is going to be 168, total 500. So this remaining is 332. Remaining stamps are 150. If I take all 2 rupees wala 300, if I take all 3 rupees wala 450, so it's in between, so it's going to work out fine. We took a lot of time to work out this way, but what we tried was, let's quickly check out. We need 0.48 rupees X stamps, 2 rupees Y stamps and 3 rupees Z stamps. Total number of stamps is 500. Now, total amount 0.48x, 2y, 3z is 500. The logic we got, this is what we know is this is in rupees, this is in rupees, this is in rupees. We want this in rupees. To convert to rupees, we need to take out two decimals. To take out one decimal, we need to multiply by 10. So to take out two decimals, we would have needed 100. But 0.48 is even number, 10 is 2 into 5. 2 is already there, so if I multiply by 1, 5, 1 decimal taken out. So 5 into 5, it has to be multiple of 25. Had it been odd number, we would have needed 100. So now first thing. Hint we got, 0.48, these times has to be multiple of 25. So it can be 20, 50, 75, up to 500. So broad try, first we try taking 100 stamps of that. If we take 100 stamps, 48, remaining 400 stamps. Even if we take all of 2 rupees, amount crosses 500. If we try 200, again remaining 300, amount crosses 500. If I try 300, 300 stamps of 0 0.48, 144, remaining 200 stamps of 2 and 3 combined. Even if I take all 2 rupees, wala, then also it crosses 500. So it has to be more than this thing. Let's say we take 400 stamps of 0.48. If I take 0.48 wala 400 stamps, 192. Now even if I take all 100 stamps of 3 rupees, then also amount is going to be less than 500. So number of stamps of 0.48 has to be between 300 and 400. It can be 325, 350 or 375. So let's first try 350. If we try 350 stamps of this, we get 168. So remaining 150 stamps of this combined. If I take all 2 wala 300, less than that. Because out of 500, 168 gone. Less. If I take all 3 wala more, so it's perfectly fine. So we have got the answer. 0.48 into 350, we got 168 rupees. The equation was 0.48x plus 2y plus 3z amount is 500. This part we got 168 and if 350 stamps of this, remaining stamps are 150. Let's say 2 rupees wala y stamps, 3 rupees wala 150 minus y stamps. Amount remaining is 332, 1 out of 500, 168 gone. So what we get 2y, so 2y plus 450 minus 3y equal to 332, y is 1. 118 stamps of this and what we get is 32 stamps of this. Look, whenever a person makes this question, a person is going to be very sure that there is only one possible answer. Now, only possible we got is 350, but even if you check out, if we would have taken 375 stamps of that, amount would have been 180. 0.48x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 500. 180 remaining stamps 125 remaining amount 320 if we take all of 2 rupees 250 then also it can work out but if we take that 2 rupees wala y 
थ्री रुपीज वाला वन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस वाई अमाउंट रिमेनिंग टू वाई थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस थ्री वाई सो वाई इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव इफ वाई बिकम्स फिफ्टी फाइव दिस बिकम्स सेवेंटी बट दैट्स वाई इट वॉज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज इवन दिस इज पॉसिबल थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव स्टैंड ऑफ दिस फिफ्टी फाइव ऑफ दिस बट इन क्वेश्चन इज गिवन टू रुपीज स्टैंड आर मोर देन थ्री here we are getting less now what all we got right now after trying so much that's why this is not working because it's given 2 rupees wala what we did right now if we take 375 180 rupees now remaining are 320 rupees remaining stamps are 125 out of 400 500 three 75 gone if we take all 2 rupees wala 250 all 3 rupees wala 375 in between it's working So let's say two rupees wala y, three rupees wala this amount. So fifty-five times of this, seventy of this. So now, this is not going to be the answer because two rupees are less than three rupees. We want two rupees wala times to be more than this. That's why answer was what all we got here. Answer was two rupees wala y times plus three rupees wala one fifty minus y. We get three thirty-two y. Two rupees wala stamps are more than three. Now, what all we got after spending so much of time? Allegation would have done much easier for us. Point four eight wala x stamps, two rupees wala y stamps, three z, and number of total stamps is five hundred. In five hundred rupees, we get five hundred stamps. So, average cost is rupees one per stamp. The average cost is rupees one per stamp. Now, what we know is x has to be multiple of twenty five. This was logical part. These last two questions, what we are doing, previous one and this one, these you will be able to understand only if you are concentrating and you are giving your best. And these are all for tougher exams, not for simple aptitude tests. So try to give your best now for allegation. Now it has to be multiple of twenty-five. Allegation can be used only for two. Point four eight wala. Now average cost of two and three, mix of two and three, average cost is going to be two plus. It can be two to three anything. Mixture average cost is in five hundred rupees. We get five hundred stamps one rupee per stamp. Point four eight for this. Combined average cost of these two remaining is two. So now, what do we get? Bigger minus smaller. In our practice, we have done bigger minus smaller. This is going to be one plus something. This is going to be one plus something. This is point five two. Now what we know is one is to point five ratio is two is to one. One is to point five. This this ratio is very close to. Two is to one. Exact we cannot say because this is one plus something. Approximate ratio is two is to one. What we got is this is going to be more than one only. We don't know exact, but one is to point five means if we have got roughly two stamps of point four eight, there is one stamp combined of two and three means forty eight paise stamps, forty eight paise stamps, and Two and three combined stamps ratio is nearly two is to one, so forty eight paise stamps are nearly two third of total five hundred. So that is, and it's slightly more than that. So that is three thirty three point three three, something more than that. We just got ratio of forty eight paise stamps and two and three wala combined stamp is two is to one. Means forty eight paise stamps are nearly two third of total. That is three thirty three. It has to be multiple of twenty five. Multiple of twenty five rule is to be divisible by twenty five. Last two digits should be divisible by twenty five. More than that, multiples of twenty five are these things. Close to that, multiples of twenty five are three fifty and three seventy five. That's what we get here. 350 and 37. We got what we did here with allegation. Important part: 48 paise wala stamps, 
मिक्स विथ एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ टू एंड थ्री कंबाइंड फोर्टी एट पैसे प्लस टू एंड थ्री कंबाइंड टोटल फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड स्टैम्प वन सो इफ दिस इज वन स्टैम दीज आर पॉइंट फाइव टू बट दिस इज मोर देन वन ओनली सो दिस इज स्लाइटली रेशियो इज टू इज टू वन बट दिस इज नियरली स्लाइटली मोर देन दैट सो फोर्टी एट पैसे स्टैम्प आर नियरली टू थर्ड ऑफ टोटल फाइव हंड्रेड बट इट हैज टू बी मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव देन ओनली इट विल कम इन रुपीज स्लाइटली मोर देन दैट मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव we try 350 stamps of 0.48 2 rupees wala y 3 rupees wala z total so 168 plus 2y plus 3z total 500 and x plus y plus z total stamps 500 if we take x 350 we know y plus z is 150 so we are trying to solve this 2y, y plus z is 150, so 3 into 150 minus y, we get 332. Solving it, we get y 118. We got it. Approximate calculation, this thing, 2 rupees wala y, total amount. Total number of stamps is this. If x is 350, we get y plus z. If this is y, 500 minus 168 is 332. If this is y, 150 minus y. so we get x is 350 y is 118 and z is 32 these are 3 rupees wala these are 2 rupees wala and 0.48 rupees now what we know is 2 rupees are more than 3 rupees that's why we got this otherwise even if we would have tried this 375 plus 2 rupees y 3 rupees z total 500 We get this 180. Total remaining are 125. 2y, 3 rupees wala 125 minus y. Total 500. 2y plus 375 minus 3y. We get here 320. So we get y 55. This also works out. X a uh, 0.48 rupees wala stands. We will be getting is 375. Two rupees wala fifty five and three rupees wala seventy, but three rupees are coming more than two rupees. It's asked it has to be less. Otherwise, even this was right. One eighty rupees for this. So this remaining is three twenty. So what all we get? But this is not going to be the answer because it's more. So what we needed? Uh, 